Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we are doing experiments with Johnny. So I have had an issue getting my normal medium for my bloom pour, so I'm gonna be experimenting with three different uh, compounds. I'll flash photos of them up there, but one of them's Color Place, one of them's another HGTV product, and then the other one is a Bear 8300 Deep Base. Thank you, Waterfall. Waterfall Acrylics for that suggestion. But I've been having a hard time finding the normal medium that I get, so I've mixed up, uh, you can't see it right now, but I've mixed up a blue, a gold, and a kind of a white shimmery color, all to the same ratios as my other recipe video in those three different compounds. And I'm going to try to see which one works the best for this method. Um, initial experiences, just so you know, this is a black pillow paint this time. I'm using it because I'm using brighter colors. I really want to be able to see if those colors, you know, get a palette or a palette if they turn pastel on me, because it looks like initially some of those colors I was using kind of changed to a pastel with some of these different mediums here, and I wanna make sure that doesn't happen. So the first thing we're gonna do is with Waterfall Acrylics' suggestion with the Bare 8300, and here we go. So it's a brilliant gold color. Now this is just an experiment. I'm just seeing if the blooms are possible with these other compounds. Because I know that sometimes certain colors, certain paints aren't available in certain places. So I got one paint from Walmart, which is the color place. I got one from Home Depot, which is the Bear, and one from Lowe's, which was the Sherwin Williams. I'm gonna be using the same cell activator that is in my recipe video for all three to try to control the variation. And we'll see what we get. I do need to blow it though. So, so far what I'm seeing looks phenomenal. This is the bare Deep Base 8300 with the mica powders. So I use the same powders same uh, consistencies throughout each one of these different recipes here just to see what I get out of them. But so far, the cell formation is great. That has more to do with the cell activator than anything else. But the pigments themselves have seemed to uh, maintain their vibrancy. They haven't really gotten too, uh, too much white added to them. So when we spin this, that'll be the true test. So we're gonna spin it gently. This, like I said, is a test. It's more for, for me, but I would like you guys to also get this information because short of buying the Shelly Art course, which I'd, I'd rather not do if I don't have to, um, experimentation and relying on what you can find online is pretty much gonna be what you get so so far I am absolutely loving what I'm seeing though it looks striking and I think that using that black base coat actually helped because this would have all been lighter color right here that's the base coat showing through a little bit it looks gorgeous this time we will use the HGTV this was from Lowe's we're gonna layer them with the same color, same color uh, order, same base, same pillow, same everything. I'm glad I got this black though because it really helps to highlight the colors. All right. 
I found this, uh, the HDTV was a little bit thicker, like a substantial amount thicker. So I had to add a lot more polycrylic to this to dilute it down to where it would be fluid enough to actually pour with. But that is okay. Because we are experimenting today. We're seeing what we can get. All right. So same cell activator for all three. And let me blow this out. Don't get my big nugget in the way. As you can see, I made a rookie error right there. And I blew entirely too hard. And it blew, as you can see, it blew the paint straight off. So what I'm going to do in the interest of... Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it that way. Because these are a test anyway. I was going to scrape it and do it again, but... Basically what we're doing, we're seeing if it's going to crack. We're seeing if the colors will remain as vibrant as they should. And for all intents and purposes, this will work just fine. So the cell formation, again, very similar. The gold seems muted compared to my last one. And the white, the pearl color, also seems muted. So let's spin it, see what we get. Let me try to center it a little tiny bit first. All right. Yeah, we're good. All right. So yeah, all the colors seem a little bit more muted, which is unfortunate. I don't like that. So. I'm grateful we bought a very small can of this stuff. But they, I mean, it works. Yes, absolutely does. I don't like the way the colors look, though. So. The colors are not as vibrant as the other mix at all. But at the end here, we're gonna definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison of all three. So for now, and I'm also gonna show you at the end how they dried, because that is also a concern of mine using different brands, because I don't know. And this is the Walmart brand, the Color Place. Now, just basically off the tile, I had already noticed that I felt like these colors were pretty, uh, it did change the vibrancy of them. They're not as dark. They're kind of more of a pastel color. And this mix was the thinnest out of the three. Same cell activator. Well, let me try not to blow too hard this time. Let me center it. You can probably already see how that gold, it doesn't really even look gold. It looks kind of like a beige. But we're going to still paint it. We're going to blow it out. Much better. Kind of controlled my breath a little bit more that time. We didn't end up um, blowing through. Because the whole idea is to blow the cell activator over the other colors so that the lacing can form over those colors, creating that gradient and that blending look. So if you blow too hard, you're going to blow straight through to the base coat. And if you blow through to the base coat, if you're using white, it is definitely going to mix with the other colors. Just that force of the paint moving against each other is gonna blend with the other colors and make your colors a little lighter, more, more pastel. Plus, it will also 
more than likely um, mess up your composition. You probably will not be happy with your results. But yeah, the colors do seem muted to me. But like I said, we're gonna have a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll show you what they look like wet, all three together. And then I'm gonna show you what they look like after they have dried, because that's the true test. That's what's important. All right, the cells have developed nicely. So let's, let's spin this one out. I am noticing, yeah, they're much more pastel. The pigments weren't as vibrant as they were at all, not even close. But I do want to try to get coverage so that way they're all the same thickness on the tile. And if any crazing is going to happen, it will happen. I will say that I am liking having this black base coat. Especially if you're using lighter colors. Or not lighter, I mean darker colors. Because it just looks amazing. And that's going to be it for that one. Okay, so this first one, this is the Bear 8300. The colors seem very vibrant. The gold, that pearl color, and the blue, they maintain their kind of sparkle. They're very defined and just gorgeous. We move on to this one. This was the HGTV. Now, I'm not sure if there maybe was some kind of reaction with the brand, but it almost looks like there's bubbles in the base coat that popped through. But I used this exact same base coat out of the can as this one. I've gotten very small possible bubbles, but there was far more in this one. So the colors, I mean, you can see side by side. They're not as vibrant. It did kind of add a pastel hue to them. And then this one was the Walmart brand from Color Place. The colors over here were far more muted than the bear. So this is the wet results. I'm really curious to see what how these dry, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the dry results. This bare 8300 deep base dried with a very nice uh, shine to it. Kind of a glossy shine. The colors did remain the same. And then we go over to the HGTV and it is a matte finish, but also the colors are slightly different. These colors dried lighter than the original. And those spots uh, just got a little bit worse as it was drying. Then we have the color place. It dried with a gloss finish. But as you can see, the golds look more copper than gold. Some of the metallic color remained but it also dried with spots in it. So if you're using an alternative to that Sherwin Williams, I would say go with the Bear 8300 Deep Base. Cause it works just about the same. If you wanna watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.